Hello! Welcome to Getting Started with Enhanced Conversions for Leads in the Google Ads API. I'm Laura Chevalier, a Developer Relations Engineer on the Google Ads API. In this video, I'll explain what Enhanced Conversions for Leads are and why they're useful. I'll also introduce the prerequisites required to build your fully functional Enhanced Conversions for Leads integration. If you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to be notified about new videos. Enhanced Conversions is a feature that can improve the accuracy of your conversion measurement and unlock more powerful bidding by supplementing the data provided by your existing conversion tags with hashed first-party conversion data. Enhanced Conversions for Leads is for advertisers that want to import offline or otherwise untrackable conversion events directly into Google Ads for purposes of reporting and optimization. It simplifies the offline conversion import process by removing the need to store and upload the GCLID or Google Click ID associated with the conversion. With Enhanced Conversions for Leads, you can import your offline conversions keyed by hashed PII instead of GCLID to match with the lead information that was sent by the Google tag when the user became a lead. You can upload Enhanced Conversions for Leads through the Google tag, Google Tag Manager, or the Google Ads API. If you're already using the Google Tag or Google Tag Manager for conversion tracking, you can set up Enhanced Conversions for Leads with only slight changes to your configuration. Using the Google Ads API provides additional flexibility and control over your data and provides the ability to efficiently manage your conversions at scale. Plus, it allows you to upload conversions for which there is no web-based event when the lead converts. For example, if your lead converts in a physical store and you track that conversion in your CRM, you can upload that lead conversion information through the API. Let's see how this happens in practice. Let's say I operate an online store and I run Google Ads to drive leads. I've set up a tag on my website that securely sends data to Google Ads whenever someone converts or submits a lead form on my website. One of my customers, Mark, sees my ad on the Google Ads display network and comes to my website by clicking the ad. Sometime later within my conversion window, he submits his phone number or email address in the lead form on my site. And as part of that flow, I collect lead information about Mark and store it in my CRM. At the same time, the Google tag securely sends the hashed lead information and a GCLID to Google Ads. When Mark later converts, for example, by making a purchase, I then securely send the hashed conversion information to Google using the Google Ads API. Google Ads can then map Mark's hashed information back to the ad that drove the lead. Note that any unmatched PII fields are further used to look up ad clicks and views from Google signed in users to improve conversion attribution, which should increase the number of reported conversions overall. Lastly, Google Ads reporting and bidding is updated with the enhanced conversion data. In summary, using enhanced conversions for leads allowed me to import my user's offline conversion event directly into Google Ads for the purposes of reporting and optimization without having to store the GCLID in my CRM. Now that we understand the overall flow, let's talk about the prerequisites to making it happen. First, Enhanced Conversions for Leads requires making sure a conversion action of type Upload Clicks exists within your Google Ads conversion customer. Not sure what your Google Ads conversion customer is? This is the Google Ads account responsible for creating and managing conversions for the customer. It might be a Google Ads client account, or if you're using cross-account conversion tracking, a Google Ads Manager account. You can verify which account is your Google Ads conversion customer by querying for the Google Ads conversion customer. Now that we know our Google Ads conversion customer ID, we can query that account to verify whether there is already a conversion action of type Upload Clicks, and if so, whether it's enabled. If your Google Ads conversion customer doesn't yet have an Upload Clicks conversion action, Follow the instructions linked in the video description to create one. Second, you must accept the customer data terms and opt in to enhance conversions for leads, both of these for your Google Ads conversion customer. You can verify whether these prerequisites are already met by querying your Google Ads conversion customer for the accepted customer data terms and enhanced conversions for leads enabled fields. If either of these requirements is not met, Follow the instructions linked in the video description to complete these prerequisites. 
Lastly, you must set up a conversion tracking tag on your website. As I mentioned earlier, the tag you configure on your website sends information about the conversion to Google Ads. Let's recap. Enhanced Conversions for Leads in the Google Ads API lets you improve your conversion reporting by sending additional first-party user information to Google Ads. In order for this to work, you must create a conversion action of type upload clicks in your Google Ads conversion customer, accept the customer data terms, and opt in to enhance conversions for leads in your Google Ads conversion customer, and configure tagging on your website to ensure conversion and lead form events are captured. That's everything for now. In later videos, we'll explore the implementation of enhanced conversions for leads in more detail. If you found this video helpful, be sure to let us know with a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you later.